Hi, I'm Hayley Lex and I'm here at Hellfest 2018 with Eric from Watain with an extremely gory hand. So you say this is just from signing? Yeah, we just came from the signing session. Wait, were you signing your name in blood? <laughs> yeah, we usually do that. You're when just we like sign. cutting your finger and. No, wait, it's, it's, not a, it's not my blood. It's blood that we bring from. Uh, oh, you were actually were. You were ad I was just joking. You were signing your name in yeah, blood? Yeah. I thought you just really, like, you were signing so much that your hand, like, blistered to fuck. Yeah, exactly. 10,000. <laughs> No, but yeah, that's what we usually do when we sign. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay then. I'll let you. So you're not in pain. That's good. That's good to hear. Because I saw I was uh, talking to Crowbar yesterday, and they were sending off um, handwritten lyrics to people. And Kirk had written so many of them, his hands swelled up, uh, like good. twice the size, covered in blisters. <laughs> it pretty much looked like that. Yeah. So you've just come from Grass Pop, yeah. just doing a nice little run of festival tours. Yeah. Everything going great? Yeah, I mean it's it's always you know festivals are always quite chaotic for a band like us. We have a we have a quite massive thing going on on stage uh, yeah. as far as like the fire and so on goes. So it's 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 uh, it's long days and long nights and uh, 60 minutes of pure. Chaos. Sacred chaos. <laughs> and uh, it is what it is. I love it. You know, I, I think it's a, I think it's a very, it's a very good thing to do what we, to do what we do. You know, to here at the festivals. But at the same time, you know, we started this year off with releasing a new album and going on tour on a regular tour for about two months. And coming from that, you know, which is quiet. Well, you, you you get into the thing quite, yeah. you know. You get the energy and you get yeah, into a routine. Yeah, the, the routine, exactly. At the festival, you, you just have to forget about all of that. It's, yeah, it's, it's like, you're okay, you're on at 1 a.m., but you have to get here at 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's, it's a mess, but it's a, it's a good mess. Yeah, a yeah. good mess, a pleasant mess. Um, so your, your band has been going for like 20 years yeah. now, and uh, it's quite a, a rarity in these kind of bands that you've pretty much mostly been able to keep the same lineup for the most mm. part. Mm. What's your secret to that? Because a lot of other bands don't know how to do that. Yeah. I mean, it's very hard to answer that question without coming up with just cliches, you know. But, uh, oh, don't what, don't be a dick. What, what sounds like cliches? No, but but but. In all honesty, you know, I think that at a very young age, we realized that the three of us who, who formed the band, me and Håkan and Pelle, we, we shared, you know, not only a passion for, for black metal, but a, but a almost, uh, we, we had a, a, a sacred approach to, to black metal in general, I think, at a very early age. And we, we always took it for something more than, than just, you know, music and entertainment. For us, it was... It was a cult. It, it was a. It, it, it was a, a movement that we were very, very proud to be a part of, and that we took, you know, very seriously from day one. And I think maintaining that approach, you know, not not abandoning it, but but rather feeding it and be, being proud of having that approach among, you know, countless bands that might be far more easygoing, you know, about playing extreme music. We have always. We, we, we have just always been very sincerely devoted to what we do and, and kept it as a not only as a you know hobby or as a job or anything like that but rather as you know a, something sacred a, a brotherhood if you will and that's that's really the reason why why we are still you know so tightly knit yeah I think that that can be really the thing because if you're gonna be on on the road together all the time you really need to love each other and have a mutual respect don't you yeah that too and I, and I mean I, I think when when the when you hold you know the the thing that you've created so high in regard that it almost transcends you know the the, the personal relations within the band you know that 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 if, if you have that you know those parameters set in that way you're gonna rid yourself of a lot of unnecessary you know personal differences or whatever because we always know that there's there's something more to it that yeah. is just too important to fuck up with 
the regular kind of bullshit that people usually fuck up bands with, right? Like getting older or getting families. I mean, we, yeah. don't, we, don't, we don't let things like that get in the way. We try not to at least. I absolutely know what you mean. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so you, you recently had a, a band member had to, to leave because of this supposed Nazi salute. I know you've, you've always been quite clear in saying you're, uh, you don't hold any anti-Semitic beliefs at all. You're not Nazis. I know um, one of your earlier demos was called Go Fuck Your Jewish God, but I assume that was more like a, a general um, hit at organized religion rather than one specific thing? I think, it, I think it was a 16 year old's way of saying fuck you all, right. we don't give a fuck about what you think. But uh, I just want to clarify, I mean there's there's no band member having to leave or anything like that. We haven't gone out with any official statement regarding yeah. that situation whatsoever and people should just, you know, take a step back, enjoy the music or whatever the fuck they do. That's what, what you're talking about is personal band business, so we will okay. leave that aside. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I hope I didn't no offend. But uh, do you think you'll be joining back once the bus is tied down? Yeah, like I said, you know, that's something we're all dealing with in the band. It's not okay. when, when it's time to talk about it, we will. So. Understood, absolutely yeah. understood. So uh, you have your, your current album out now. What's the response been like? That. That's, I, it's, I, I don't know if I'm the right person to ask. I, I, I meet people that are very enthusiastic, obviously, because we meet them at shows and they obviously bought the tickets, so they, I guess they like what we do, you know. But I, I'm, I don't really read so much reviews and stuff yeah, like that. I'm, I think that's I, a good start to go with. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's, I, I don't really need like that kind of. Um, Encouragement yeah. or whatever. Well, the but, thing but, is, but, with but, the internet, it's all keyboard warriors, isn't it? The people that actually talk to you in person, those are the ones brave enough to say something to your face. So yeah. they, those are probably the ones you should listen to. Yeah, but also like, I know the relation, you know, for me as a member of Attain to whoever that takes in what we do, you know, a listener or someone that goes to our concert is. They're there, you know, they come to the shows, hopefully they give something, some form of energy, but you know, other than that, like, I don't really step into, you know, specific people's own personal opinions, there's as many opinions as there are people, right, and if you start to, like, dig in that, <laughs> you're gonna, you gotta, you gotta it's a, to me, there's, there's so much things to do with this short time that I have here, you know, and reading reviews and finding out exactly what other people think about what we do is, is not one of them. Right, because obviously you get into this to make the music you want to make. If people like it, then great. If not, I guess that's their problem. Yeah, I you mean... You can't be living to satisfy other people. No, definitely not. And, and I mean, again, you know, we play, we, we do the things we do for ourselves, first yeah. of all, but also, you know, like the, 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 so, the, so the response we get from people is usually quite positive and I I love that you know I, I, I thoroughly appreciate when when people give something back yeah. I, I, I really you know so don't get me wrong it's not that I don't care about the, about the people that like what we do but I just I, I think for, for me, it would be an extremely stressful situation to like really find out how has the album been going. What has that? What do they think? And what do they think? For me, that's that's. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really. Yeah, you, you can't really make your music it. just based on trying to please a certain set of people, can you? No, that that would be very. <laughs> that that, yeah. that feels like a very alien idea. Yeah, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't make the music successful. So, right, one more question. We're nearly out of time. Um, so I know with the retain the 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 ambiance and the show and the fire is a really huge element in it. it really makes the show. Uh, I know with Behemoth a few years ago they had to turn up to a show where they didn't have any of their stage costumes or anything like that, and so they had to do their show in their normal clothes. Mm. Would you ever do that in retain if you didn't have the the necessary things? And how do you think that would affect the show? I mean, we we uh, we have been through countless situations where we had to solve things last minute. Uh, 
performing in like our regular clothes has not been one of them, but you know, similar kind of situations. And I think it's interesting and kind of reassuring to realize that you know the the fire that Batain is about is within us, you know, no matter no matter the circumstance. And that's that's a beautiful thing to know and, and, and to realize and to, to live with that insight, you know. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we, we'll, we, we've overcome everything so far and I'm sure a situation like that would feel like a, quite a small overcoming at the, by this time. It would almost be worth it for the feeling afterwards like we did this. <laughs> yeah, no, well, exactly. I mean, the, and there's been a lot of that and every, every moment like that is something that I value and, and you know, something that I take to myself and something that's added to, to Batain and, yeah. and experience. That was a really beautiful quote about the fire. It was like poetry. <laughs> the fire is within us. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I'd, I could carry on talking all night, but I think we have to finish now. So, it is. so it's been very lovely talking to you. Likewise. And good luck for your show tonight. Thank you. And make sure you get some soap on that. <laughs> See you about that. Thank you. Bye.